When William Thompson, Lord Kelvin, was born in Belfast in 1824, steam engines were in their infancy. By the time he died in 1907, not only had we entered the era of powered flight, but there had also been a revolutionary breakthrough on a much, much smaller scale. The 20th century began, so to speak, with a quantum leap. Thermodynamics was born because engineers wanted to optimize the efficiency of, of steam engines. The likes of Kelvin used the most advanced tools that they had at that moment to achieve unprecedented uh, performances. Thermic, which is a pan-European network of scientists, aims at doing exactly the same, this time using the powerful tools provided by, by quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics was really a scientific revolution. It allowed us to understand nature at its microscopic scale. But if at the beginning quantum mechanics was a means to understand nature, it soon became um, a means to deliver practical application. Nowadays, uh, scientists are developing uh, ideas of uh, quantum mechanics uh, to build microscopic machines of atoms and photons. Members of the thermic team here at Queens are bridging the gap uh, between the thermodynamics developed by Kelvin and the quantum world. In daily life, we measure temperature using thermometers, but what is a thermometer? Well, it's something that you put in contact with a system of interest, let it evolve and acquire a certain property that you read out, hoping that it has affected very little the system of interest. But the process of measuring in quantum mechanics is fundamentally disturbing. One of the goals of Thermic is to devise efficient protocols for thermometry, disturbing very little or the minimally possible, the systems of study. Before we can build any quantum gadgets, we need to be able to control the components. The problem with quantum systems is they're very fragile. So one way to manipulate them is to do it extremely slowly. The problem is then that our quantum machines would take a lifetime to do anything. In Thermic, we develop smarter ways that achieve the same result, but significantly faster. It's a lot like trying to get to work. Uh, you can drive along the same road as everybody else, but you'll be in the traffic jam and it'll take a long time to get there. Or you can pay a little bit and you can take the high-speed toll road and get there much, much faster. We do the same thing with quantum systems and we try and understand exactly how much is this quantum toll. Thermic is very active in uh, studying quantum features in mesoscopic systems. These systems are um, large enough uh, to be described by thermodynamical means, uh, but they work uh, in an operating conditions uh, where quantum effects cannot be neglected. For example, we study um, mirrors interacting with light, uh, optomechanical systems. Uh, miniaturization of technological devices will very likely lead uh, to a point in which uh, quantum effects must be taken into account and uh, besides, from a more fundamental perspective, it, it, it represents a unique uh, opportunity to test uh, quantum mechanics on larger and larger platforms.